guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna talk about the most controversial topic that actually nobody wants to talk about, and that is our salary. I'm going to be very specific here. I'm going to be talking about the salary of the cabin crew here in the Middle East because of course I am based in the Middle East. So I'm going to be speaking to you about my experience and about how much we are actually earning as a cabin crew. By the way, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to tap the notification bell so you get updates whenever I upload a new video like this. All right? So you probably have heard different versions already as to how much we are earning as a cabin crew here in the Middle East but today I'm gonna give you a breakdown as to what to actually expect because our salary has five categories and it consists of um, the basic salary, the flying, flying time or flying rate, the uh, meal allowance, the transportation allowance and the housing allowance. So most of the Middle East airlines here are actually having the same uh, categories but I'm gonna explain it to you further so you guys can understand because a beginner uh, cabin crew and a senior cabin crew has two different salaries or two different rates so I'm gonna explain it to you further so that you will have an idea by the way when I say uh, junior cabin crew um, that would mean the economy cabin crew and then the senior cabin crew would be the premium cabin crew those who are assigned the business or first class. So I'm gonna be explaining it to you as to how much you're actually getting and please stay tuned until the end of this video so you guys have an idea as to how much approximately we're actually getting if you're interested. So let's go into my computer right now so that I can explain it to you further, all right? All right, so you're writing to my computer right now. I prepared it for you guys because yeah, so you guys have an idea on how much we're actually getting. So like I said, we do have basic salary, flying time or rate. We have the meal allowance, we have the housing allowance, and this one is the transportation allowance. Now, there are two different rates here that would be economy crew and a premium crew. So it really depends as to how senior you are in the uh, in the company and as you go along you're also going to increase your basic salary as well as your rates Okay, so let's all begin here. So as you can see in this side There is I place economy crew and this one is a premium crew now As an entry point your basic salary you'll be getting $986 I'll be placing just US dollars guys. You may go ahead and um, convert it into your own currency if you want to and then as a premium crew or if you're already senior you'll be getting 1230 us dollars and then for economy crew you will be getting 13.6 per hour and the other one would be 15.8 per hour so let's say you have around 100 uh, hours here per month so which is really very possible as a crew so you just multiply this into uh, 100 hours so you'll be getting around 1360 us dollars all right so I hope you got my point here. So the same here as well, that would be 15.8 multiplied by 100, you'll be getting around 1,580 US dollars. That is just the flying rate, guys. Now let's go with the meal allowance. Now for the meal allowance, it is normally the same rate to everybody. It, it doesn't matter if you are a senior crew, a junior crew or maybe you're a supervisor even the pilots they're getting the same because we're staying in the same hotel so um, i'm just saying here approximately because um it's not always the same all the time so normally we're getting around a hundred dollars sometimes it's also below that or sometimes it's more than that it really depends where we are staying and um how uh, expensive the hotel is so basically we get around a hundred dollars like i said it depends on the 
the destination and the hotel. Sometimes there are destinations like, let's say, for example, um, in Oslo, um, we are going, getting around more than $100 because um, in Oslo, we are staying in a expensive hotel. At the same time, the rates outside are actually very expensive. So if you go out and uh, buy some groceries, of course, it's going to be very, very expensive. So that's why we are also getting um, a meal allowance that is more than $100. So that is just an example, guys. So yeah, so both of the uh, cabin crew will be getting um, hundred dollars each um, this is per day by the way guys all right so let's say you are staying here for two days or three days so it will be multiplied to how many days you will be staying in that certain hotel all right so let's go to this uh, transportation and housing allowance now I'm putting here um, the same as this one because uh, normally once you uh, you'll be based here in the Middle East, you will actually be provided by the company a company accommodation it's as well as the transportation. So normally these two here is actually not included unless if you opt out uh, if you're married, you can actually um, get out of the accommodation and have your own apartment and you will be getting this amount of money only. So I don't want you guys to think about these two here because um, this is actually not included in the salary if you're just staying in the company accommodation. And I would suggest if you are still new here, just stay in the company accommodation because um, you actually save a lot of money because this amount of money here per month, but these are, this is per month. The rentals here are really very expensive, so I don't think these two here are enough. So, uh, yeah, so these two don't include this in your computation um, every month because it is uh, actually very, very low. All right, so um, let's go ahead and give you a summary here. If you just add these um, three here, you're actually going to be getting, let's say, $986 per, uh, per month plus the flying time. Let's say you have 100 hours here. So that would be $1,360. And then here, let's say you have five layovers every month. Okay, now that is actually very, very possible because normally we get around five to six um uh, layovers every month so let's just say you're getting just five all right so let's make this 500 us dollars so the if you add these three here you're going to be getting 2846 us dollars and then on the other side if you add all these three here so, so this one you will include uh, five layovers and this one is a hundred hours that would become three thousand three hundred and ten all right so how is it so far i hope you guys are getting my point here that yes we are actually getting this amount of money um so basically as a premium crew you're getting a little more than the junior crew but again you'll be getting around 2846 us dollars per month that is just an approximate guys because every month it varies differently because uh, of course we're not getting the same hours every month sometimes you get more one uh, more than 100 hours and sometimes you get less than 100 uh, hours every month so basically it's not going to be the same every month and of course the layovers will be different as well so you will have to consider that and also as a premium crew you will be getting around 3300 us dollars so yes it's actually a big amount of money especially for me because i am from the philippines and if you have to actually convert that that's a lot of money if you if i actually convert that into our currencies so i hope you guys enjoyed my video for today so like please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you again next time bye for now
bye now